Actress Mona Freeman made a lasting impression in the film world with her unforgettable performances. She's become a timeless symbol of the industry because of her talent. Do you remember the first movie you saw her in? Share your favorite memories or stories about this classic actor in the comments below. Stay tuned for some interesting, surprising, and sad facts about her career. Keep watching this video to learn more about her fascinating life and legacy. Mona Freeman, a highly talented actress, made a lasting impression on the entertainment industry throughout her extensive career. Over several decades, she engaged audiences with her roles in both film and television. Her ability to authentically portray diverse characters with depth earned her acclaim in Hollywood. Rising to fame in the mid-20th century, she charmed viewers with her versatility on the big screen. Freeman's memorable performances garnered praise from critics and fans, solidifying her place as a celebrated figure. Her influence paved the way for future generations of actors. She continues to inspire those who follow in her footsteps to pursue excellence in their craft. Mona Freeman's impact on the industry is undeniable, making her a true icon in the world of film and television. Mona Freeman, famous for her role as Mary Wilton in Angel Face, had a remarkable journey in Hollywood. She faced tough competition with other actresses for coveted roles, like in the case of Roman Holiday, where she competed with Jean Simulantrans before Audrey Hepburn secured the part in 1953. Unfortunately, Mona couldn't secure the role she desired. Similarly, for the Blue Lagoon, Paramount chose Similantrans over her, denying her the opportunity once again. At post-war Paramount, Freeman found herself typecast, often playing teenage roles despite outgrowing them. This hindered her adult career, making it challenging to break out of the mold set by her early successes. In June 1961, she married Jack Ellis, a Los Angeles businessman, marking a new chapter in her personal life. Interestingly, Jack officially adopted her daughter, Moni Ellis, from a previous marriage, strengthening their family bond. Moni later followed Wood in her mother's footsteps, pursuing a career in showbiz. Mona Freeman's life and career showcase resilience and adaptation in Hollywood, highlighting the challenges and triumphs faced by many actors and actresses striving for success in the ever-evolving entertainment industry. This story of persistence is a reflection of Freeman's lasting legacy. Following her divorce, she found herself in the company of influential figures such as Nikki Hilton, Vic Damon, Robert Wagner, and the famous Frank Sinatra. It was during this time that Howard Hughes, the mysterious wealthy businessman, noticed her on the cover of a magazine. Interested in her, Hughes promptly decided to bring her into Hollywood. Paramount noticed her and took the chance to acquire her contract from Hughes when her initial roles didn't work out. The turning point in her career came with the film Angel Face, a collaboration between RKO and Howard Hughes. This marked a significant breakthrough for her, establishing her as a rising star in the entertainment industry. Before her Hollywood journey, she married Pat Nerney, a successful car dealer in the heart of the film industry. Together, they welcomed a daughter named Moni in 1947, adding a family aspect to her life amidst the glitz and glamour of Tinseltown. Her trajectory in the film world, shaped by encounters with notable personalities and driven by her talent, showcases a compelling narrative of resilience and success in the face of Hollywood's challenges. Her life's chapters, filled with interesting relationships and professional highs, highlight the allure and complexity of the entertainment industry. This glimpse into her life offers a fascinating insight into the world of old Hollywood, where talent, relationships, and fate came together to shape the stories behind the silver screen. Her journey, from the aftermath of divorce to the heights of stardom, serves as a compelling narrative of Hollywood's golden era. Mona Freeman, an actress of mixed English, Irish, and French heritage, left a lasting impact not just through her acting skills, but also through her strong family bonds. She was a proud mother to Moni Ellis, her daughter from her marriage to Pat Nerney. Despite her notable talent, she faced disappointment when she tried out for the lead role in Roman Holiday, but lost to an unknown actor. Her father, Stuart Freeman, supported their family as a dedicated contractor. The mix of Mona's diverse background likely added to her unique charm and ability to play various roles as an actress. Throughout her career, she captivated audiences with her performances, leaving a strong impression on the entertainment industry. Her journey, with its ups and downs, shows her resilience and love for acting and family. Today, her name brings back memories of old Hollywood, where talent and determination were crucial. 
Mona Freeman's story inspires aspiring actors and actresses, reminding them to keep going despite challenges and to value family bonds. In the history of movies, her name shines brightly, representing talent, resilience, and the enduring strength of the human spirit. Mona Freeman's journey is one of bravery, love, and leaving a lasting impact on those who admire her work. This narrative gives a deeper insight into the life and impact of Mona Freeman, an actress whose influence goes beyond the screen. Her story, though filled with challenges and triumphs, shows the power of passion and perseverance in pursuing dreams. In 1941, Miss Subway became popular thanks to a campaign by John Robert Powers. This initiative aimed to promote Powers' modeling agency and the New York subway system. In the film Double Indemnity, she played the role of a secretary. Interestingly, both Susan Hayward and she were considered for the role of Lola. Moving on to television, she was part of two series titled Branded. In the 1950 movie, she starred alongside Alan Ladd, playing the character Ruth Lavery. Later, in the TV series Branded McCord's Way, Chuck Connors played the lead role as Jason McCord, while she portrayed Dora Kendall. Despite both being westerns, the storylines differed between the movie and the TV series. Her career spanned different mediums, showing her ability to adapt to various roles in both film and television. Actress Mona Freeman began her career at 18, appearing in the movie Double Indemnity in 1944. Originally set to play Barbara Stanwyck's stepdaughter, she ended up impressing audiences as Edward G. Robinson's secretary. Despite being older than Elizabeth Taylor by six years, she auditioned for the role of Taylor's older sister in National Velvet. However, Angela Lansbury got the part instead. In The Greatest Show on Earth by Cecil B. Demel, she appeared as a circus spectator alongside her daughter, Moni Ellis. While her first role was as a secretary, her later performances showcased her talent. Through her work in movies, she became a well-known figure on the big screen. This story, filled with successes and setbacks, shows her lasting impact in Hollywood. Mona Freeman, an actress from the past, faced challenges and took initiative to steer her career. In 1949, she aimed for the lead role in The Blue Lagoon, but hit a roadblock when Paramount refused to lend her to the J. Arthur Rank organization due to financial disagreements. In a Kamalam rentable effort to support her brother's education at Yale, she sought modeling opportunities. Her determination led to success, making her a teenage cover girl for John Robert Powers and earning her a spot among the Miss Subway Girls in New York. One notable role for her was as Mary Wilton in Angel Face. The story drew inspiration from a real-life case five years prior. Irving Wallace, uncredited, contributed several early drafts, with Ben Hecht providing a final polish towards the film's conclusion. Otto Preminger's constant script revisions during shooting, as noted by Mona Freeman, significantly enhanced the overall quality. Her journey reflects resilience and initiative in the face of challenges, showcasing her adaptability in the dynamic world of entertainment.